Okay, this is set up and up now. It's been about two and a half hours to where it's ten, the fiberglass is solid enough. So uh, we'll take our X-Acto knife and we'll just trim this extra pieces off here, flush with the rim. This will give us a nice smooth end and an even end to our cowl backside. Once we get this last one done, then I can run a little flat uh, block sander across there and have a nice, nice smooth cut on my cowl. And it should be square with everything else that's in line with. Okay, here we go. Okay, back again. I've already got the resin mixed up here, so once again, even though this is tacky, you want to get that resin on the bottom side of the pirate glass. So we'll go around here and coat this just like we did on the first coat. Now you'll find that Subsequent quotes after the first one won't take as much resin as that first one did. Well, you get a build up over the various layers and you get plenty of resin in there. So I was using about three and a half pumps. This time I'm using about two and a half pumps. A little difference there in the amount of resin. Because you got a lot of excess resin laying around in there now. So. Okay. Down the first shot. And it's just a matter of making sure we get that smoothed out against that first coat. We don't want to get any air bubbles trapped in there. one. Make sure you get your overlap in there. You don't want to overlap too far. So it doesn't take too long to lay this up. It's all the waiting time in between that winds up taking all day long. It takes about nine hours when you consider the time you have to wait between coats. And really, it's only about, I guess, about 15 minutes to lay one of these up. So you got about an hour's worth of labor time and nine or eight hours worth of waiting time. So, of course, there's always plenty of stuff you can do in between while you're waiting for those to dry or cure off.
See how that just lays down in there. Put that down in. And just brush this up. Let the weave take the contour. Simple as pie. Nice when you're doing subsequent coats because that tacky coat underneath keeps your fiberglass from moving around. But of course, that also sometimes can give you a little problem getting it to lay down smooth. But for the most part, it's a good thing. I'll end up with these a little long. I have to chop them down every time. I don't have so much material here in this bottom. I'll have a quarter inch thick nose on this thing. Just work that out, work it out. All the little wrinkles will come right out of there. Pull it up like so. Feed it right on out. Seems like I could use just a little more pre-coat here. You want to make sure you get these down around this nose ring. You want to make sure you get that tap down in there. That's a sharp angle, so you don't want to have a big gap and, and a big air bubble in there. down there. You know, I've even got a little bit extra resin left over. So you can see it takes a lot less resin on subsequent coats, subsequent layers. Whoops, kind of pull that up. Okay. Okay, well, we get our four coats of glass on here and uh, let this thing sit up overnight. And then to, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll uh, see if it'll pop out of here or whether we're going to be pulling our hair. Ciao for now.